Operation Free Sinjar launched in northern Iraq. Over 7,000 Kurdish forces on a mission to retake that key city from ISIS. The U.S. playing a pivotal role. Coalition air warplanes providing air cover at all times. We're going to take you to the outskirts of Sinjar and bring in our senior international correspondent, Nick Payton Walsh. Nick. Nine o'clock local time last night. That's when we understand the offensive began and we could see from the top of Mount Sinjar the night sky lit up by a series of explosions, part of days of efforts by coalition aircraft to soften up the town of Sinjar's ISIS defenders. Now, it's symbolically vital because of what happened there last year to the Yazidis that live there, forced into the mountains, forced into slavery, captivity, but it's strategically vital as well. And what's clear today as the fighting continues is it's about the highway that runs the distance behind me here. Highway 47, it goes from Raqqa in Syria, the caliphate self-declared capital of ISIS, to Mosul in Iraq. The Pentagon think if they can cut that, they can perhaps cut off ISIS's ability to sell black market oil around the region. What we're hearing in the past few moments is intense explosions behind us. It clearly shows a coalition aircraft coming to the support of what may have been an ISIS counterattack to move back down the highway. The Kurds are clear, they need to cut that road off. They say they've done it in certain parts, but that is going to be in the hours ahead where the greatest fighting and uncertainty is. It is both symbolically and strategically vital, Sinjar, and I think for a sense of momentum the Pentagon officials want to have that their efforts here are going to lead to something in the fight against ISIS. Back to you.